vector calculus curl theorem. The curl theorem is is uh, one of uh, generalized uh, green theorem. The green theorem is when you take the integral of the enclosed area. Okay, so that's a D. The derivative of function f x y integral is going to be a to b g x to f x so it's turned out to be the line integral of f x dx okay so that's basically the idea of green theory okay so you expand two way the 3d 3d okay we keep a uh, line integral relationship with uh, area then you have area d in 3d and the line integral so we can expand into the relationship between area and the line integral and that's called uh, Kelvin Stokes theorem but if you expand 3d into 3d object and make a relation between volume and the surface so that's going to be divergence theorem now divergence theorem is also known as Gauss Gauss theorem so you can expand into 3D version in two different way. So when you expand, it's going to be this uh, volume. You take integral along the uh, two different surface. And that's going to be surface integral of the function okay but you can also expand this surface to line integral relationship in 3d area and that's Kelvin Stokes so here we talk about Kelvin Stokes theorem that is called curl theorem because curl of E um, calculated by the surface is going to be equal to line integral of E vector. Suppose you have a, a E vector here and the curl is often this notation is used after multiplication of this uh, invert delta okay the when you have a looping E like that, the curl E goes through the vectors that loops and you integrate by the surface. Surface doesn't have to be flat, it's, it can be any shape. Okay? So that is equal to integral of E along this dr. Okay, that's a curl theory. And now, this notation can be expressed by the matrix IJK vector and derivative operator and each element of E. And Maxwell's equation claim that is equal to this. Okay, now.
when you have an electric field looping, the curl E is going to define some kind of vector field pointing to Z. And F equals, according to this, the uh, Z is this one. Let's see. Z is this one. So it's going to be this minus this. So uh, delta EY over uh, delta X minus delta EX over delta Y. And that's defined so-called right-hand rules and left-hand rules. Depends on, you know, Faraday's law or Ampere's law. Okay. Now, in physics, we often use polar coordinate. And this is a polar coordinate curl's theorem. So you have to know there is a R here. That this R in parentheses is only for L vector. So when you calculate L vector, you take this portion, you need R. And when you calculate this, these vectors, you emit, uh, eliminate this R. Okay, So it's a little bit more complicated, but we often use this. And the coordinate definition is theta here and the phi here. And this is the coordinate. So the curl theory is basically uh, one of uh, uh, Maxwell's equation and Kelvin Stokes is a different name. Uh, it's called the curl theory because of this curl here. And the curl is this, okay? So I hope you got overview and you enjoyed listening to this video. We have other videos, please check it out. And if you like, subscribe.